Okay, let's talk about orthodromic SVT. So let's start by drawing our heart. So we know that we've got an SA node, we've got an AV node with the bundles. And let's change the color. So we know that in SVT, you need to have some sort of a re-entry. You need to create a complete circuit of uh, re-entry of impulses to create the SVT. When it comes to WPW, we know that there is an extra, extra pathway. There is an accessory channel, an accessory pathway here that links the atrium to the ventricle uh, without going through the AV node. To create a complete circuit of re-entry, it can be done uh, via one of two ways. Either the impulse will go through the AV node and then down to the ventricle and then up to the atrium to get into the AV node again, and that will create the complete circuit. So that's one way. And in this way, the impulse will go through the normal conductive system, which is AV node and bundle of his in the normal direction from above to below. So again, looking at this, we know that the impulse will go through the AV node, then down to the ventricle, then up through the accessory pathway, then down again. So going through the normal conductive system in the normal direction. And if that happens, that means that the, con the outcome, the complex will be a narrow complex. So the outcome of this complete circuit is going to be a narrow complex regular tachycardia. Sorry, it's not the best drawing, but yeah. So narrow complex regular tachycardia. When you see this narrow complex regular tachycardia in a patient with WPW, this is what's called orthodromic SVT. And you can tell in that case that the impulse has gone through the normal conductive system into the normal direction. So that's the orthodromic SVT. And the outcome is a narrow complex regular tachycardia. The sort of the tachycardia that when you see, you will say, without knowing what's going on, oh, that looks like an SVT. I've seen this before. So that's regarding orthodromic SVT.